welcome. Thanks for joining us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Minnesota Twins going up against the Kansas City Royals. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now and on the mound for Kansas City in this one Cole Reagans. Well this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage make his pitches and avoid that big Maybe inning. If he can win. work around that he can give a quality start Edward. hand this off to the Julian. bullpen later on and put his team in a position to win a game. The wind and the pitch. Edouard right. Julien the batter now oh, as he swings and misses for strike one. Right through there for a strike. Got him. And that's the first out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Here's Royce Lewis. First pitch just misses. And ball. another ball. Two one. Pop foul out of play off to the right. A little tardy on that fastball. Is going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Ball Next three. pitch misses, and it's a full count. Full count. One out. Base is empty. And there's ball four. Now this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past and it's an issue once again early on. Here's Byron Buxton. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. Reagans checks over to first and he's back. And ball one. And a pinch. There goes the runner. And base hit. Lead runner around second. To third. Not in time. He's safe. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Max Kepler at the plate. That's a strike. And it's 0-1. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. And he takes one right on the black. And it's not again two. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. And here it comes. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Number 11 drifts towards it, makes the grab, two down. Now the lineup for the Twins as constructed by Rocco Baldelli. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, 
very intelligent the way that they use their team and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams especially in a big game big series Carlos Correa in the box now take strike one two on two outs no you don't want to get beat by a fastball in and he spits on that one and now the lefty and a count one and two Finish. corners are occupied with two down that's towards center He's got it, and that's the third out. Twin strand a pair, and now the Royals will get their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, and towing the slab, Pablo Lopez. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, Boog, he's the type of guy that you can bet on to give you quality innings most of the time he goes out there. Guy knows how to pitch. He's got good stuff. Sometimes it can be even plus stuff. First time through the order, though, I think that's going to tell us a lot about how he's feeling today and how he's going to settle into this ball game and attacking hitters. MJ Melendez leading things off and takes a strike. Lopez, a former All-Star, he features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slur, a curve and he works in a sinker and Pablo Lopez will deliver swings through it and that's a strikeout now here's Bobby Witt Jr. That one in there across the letters. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Jeffers makes the grab for the second out. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Perez stands at second with two gone. Not close with that one. And that's ball two. Here's a high fly ball out to center. And the inning is over. End of one. And we're still scoreless. here in Kansas City second inning set to go and now it's the switch hitter Carlos Santana Santana handling the duties at first 38 years old and he was born in the Dominican Republic 
Reagan's back to work. They had a strike in there. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. In time to get him, one away in the strikeout. We'll take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting him away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. So up next for Minnesota, Matt Walmer. Bounce to third. That's the second out. out. Batting eight. The catcher, Ryan. Two outs, base is empty. And now the Twins catcher, Ryan Jeffers. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because He's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. Ball. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One Jeffers no in the eighth spot in today's lineup, and he was a second-round pick back in 2018. Ball. That one missed. Right through there for a strike. Second inning here, no score. Ball. And that's off the inside edge. And a count is three and one. Ground ball to the right that's side. And it goes just foul. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here with my pal Siggy, bottom of the second. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro. The wind of the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Walner settles underneath it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Batting six. The second baseman. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. Lopez, an all-star a season ago, 28 years old. And they went out and made a trade for him last season. In there for strike one. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. That one fouled off. Here's the 0-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 0 2. Ball Next one. offering is outside. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And next is the designated hitter, Nelson Velasquez. Run around the move. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. pitch and it's quickly nothing in two uh, the designated hitter Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here 
Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. It feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Bounced up the middle. Steps on the bag for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We head on now to the top of the third. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now, Alex Kirilov. Alex Kirilov. As the lefty gets to work. No, Just missed. Ball and two. another ball. Two out. This is inside three and oh. It's a lead off walk and that's the go ahead run. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Edouard Julien the next twin up to him. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Ground ball up the middle. There's one to first. Double play. Nicely done. Great job by the shortstop right there. Fields it, decides to take it himself. Second baseman can just chill out until the next play. Now the third baseman, Royce Lewis. He reached out a walk his first time. That to right. This looks like extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Now that the center field. Byron. So two down. Byron Buxton, the next twin up to hit. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. No, no. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Man at second. No, and that's inside. off the inside edge. And it's 2 and 0. Oh. Man on second, two down. Ball and three. another ball. Max Kepler next to bat for Minnesota. Fall off foul. Runner at second, two down. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Finish him. Two outs. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. pitch and ball, the ball four to a board I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow now batting. Right here. first and second now two down batting. now batting Max Kepler over one so far oh. chase that time two walks in the inning already and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them Two on, two outs, and fouled off. And a 1 1. And that one fouled off. Finish him. First and second, two down. Got him! Yes. Out number three. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam.
Back here at Kauffman Stadium, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the center fielder, Kyle Isbell. Lopez, back to work. Bounce to the right side. Throw on to Santana. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The third baseman, Michael Garcia. Number 11 steps in for the Royals. That one the other way, and it stays fair. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in, and that's a two-bagger. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And next up for the Royals, M.J. Melendez. Went down on strikes his first time through. That smash towards center. He makes the grab, and there's two down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all no over it. It's just seven. frustrating when you can't Shut get it to up. fall. Maybe next time Three. up, he'll find a hole. Witt Jr. And now the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. The shortstop takes the ball. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step, and that's why he makes so many great plays. Righty delivers. Ball misses three. just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Salvador Perez next up for Kansas City. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. Full count. Three two now gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. And the right hander deals. Fouls it back with two strikes. Grinding a B right here. About to see pitch number ten. Headed down the line. And it's caught just in front of the wall. A double in the inning, but they leave him stranded. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. All set for the start of the inning. And now for the Twins, Carlos Correa. The wide to kick the pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Well, these twins doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Go-ahead run on base. Carlos Santana, the next twin up to hit. 
He's over one. That one's in there. Going one. Oh one. And a pitch. In there at the knees. That's strike two. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. That's pitches downstairs. Way to lay off that pitch down. Lifted in the air, right center field. Renfro getting an angle on it. Brings it in. One away. Now that the left field, Matt. So Wallmer. digging in, Matt Walmer. First time up, he grounded to third. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Isbell snags it on the run. Now that Jeffers, Ryan Jeffers. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Melendez drifts towards it. And that is that. One left for Minnesota. And we're still knotted at zero. And we're back. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. The catcher, Salvador Perez. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And that's off the inside edge. 1 and 0. Oh. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside, hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. And the righty deals. And he grounds one back up the middle. Oh, great stop. Over to first. It's there, and that's a great play. The first baseman, number nine, Vinny. Vinny Pasquantino digs in now. And Outside the first ball. pitch misses for ball one. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. Close, oh, no. but called a ball. Three and one now. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Kicks and fires. And boy, that was the pitch. Three one. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Lopez gets the swing and the miss, and there's two away. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it.
right through there for a strike. Two outs, bases empty. The one one is fouled off. Just off the outside corner. The count now two and two. Fly ball down the line, and that's a foul ball. Swabs and misses, struck him out. Royals bats are quiet there, and we are still scoreless. Back here in Kansas City, and now the DH, Alex Kirilov. Alex. Kirilov measures six feet two inches 26 years old and he's usually a first baseman but today he's the designated hitter next pitch is outside some people say that first baseman kind of have the day off regularly because they don't run around a whole lot but when you think about it they are involved in just about every single play, and there's a lot of stress that gets put on their legs. So a well-deserved day at the DH spot for him. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Perez down to first, gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Edouard Julien, the next twin up to hit. That's in there. Strike one. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Got him swinging. Some high cheese for strike three. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Here's the third baseman, Royce Lewis. And a strike. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Way back there. That one hops against the fence. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. And next for Minnesota, Byron Buxton. Pitch misses, ball one. The Twins with a chance to score first. And we're at the top of the fifth. Well, and that's downstairs and outside. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And the pitch. 
Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Renfro going back. He hits the wall and hangs on. Great catch. Oh, man. Amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. Bottom of the inning. And now it's going to be Michael Massey. The second baseman. Michael Massey. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. One up. And a curve misses outside. Well, these Royals just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They really haven't worked many deep counts or long at-bats, and that's fine if you're having a lot of success. But at this point, I think it's time to make an adjustment. Have you ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? I haven't been in many games as a fan. Got him. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Well, it's just a great job of playing catch with the catcher. Exactly where the catcher set up is where he threw that pitch. And probably fooled the umpire a little bit because there was no budge at all. Nelson Velasquez steps in for the Royals. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Swing and a pop up. Correa is there. Snags it for the second out. Now that the center fielder. Kyle. And now it's Kyle Isbell. Isbell. Rounded out his first time up. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Two down, nobody on. Ball. And he hits a ground ball right side. Throw on to Santana. Royals set down in order. Royals go down one, two, three. Still no score. Back here with my pal Ziggy. Now it's the right fielder, Max Kepler. Max Kepler. Reagan's back to work. Got a good eye there. Well, these twins looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. Swing and a miss. One and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Got him swinging on that pitch away to finish him off, but everything early in the at bat was in tight. Really challenged him in there with some competitive pitches, not letting him get his hands extended, but of course that eventually opens up the outside part of the plate, and he just wasn't able to adjust. Here's Carlos Correa, one for two. No. Just off the inside edge. The hit behind with that swing. It's strike one. one it really looks strike. like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. They got it for out number two. Up next for Minnesota, the first baseman, Carlos. So up next for Minnesota, Santana. Carlos Santana. Oh. 
that misses the zone, and that's ball one. Two down, nobody on, and we're the top half of the sixth. Ball Next two. offering is down low. Two outs to Down the left field line, could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Around first, digging for two. He's there, it's a two out double. The battle, the left field. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Now, Matt Walmer. And that one fouled off. Santana at second with two down. Next pitch is outside. 1-1. One, one. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Hit hard on the ground is short. And that He's is out. the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. And we still have no score. Well, we go bottom six. Now the third baseman, number 11. The third baseman. The right-hander back to work. On its way to the corner. And that's a foul ball. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 0-2. Good eye outside. right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And two another two. ball. 2-2 two two now. Fights it off, you'll see another. And he deals. Oh, and a swing and a miss. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's the left fielder, MJ Melendez. Ball no, one, ball. no strikes. Oh, and that clips the inside corner. One ball, one strike. too high and down on strikes he goes too gone I gotta think that was the plan all the way he set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging now especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days that's a devastating combination so two down now, and here is Bobby Witt Jr. To third, and that's just foul. Oh. 
ball. Just Outside. missed. Right Here's through there for a strike. One, two. Two outs. Stays alive. Here comes a pitch. And it skips in the dirt. Oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. here at Kauffman Stadium and now the catcher comes up to him Ryan Jeffers the pitch ball, off the ball. mark there ball one double barreled action in the bullpen John Schreiber getting loose out there Stratton warming up as well the pitch upstairs And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And that's outside. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. There's a strike. Okay. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Swing at a pop-up. Pasquantino settles under it. And he makes the catch. Then there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Here's Alex Kirilov. He's over for one. That's First ball. pitch misses. One ball. No ball strike. tied up here in the top half of inning number seven. In the air, left field, down the line, and no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece and stays alive. A one, two. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. And a one-two. Oh. And that one upstairs. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. The lefty fires. Center field. Isbell under it. Pulls it in for the out. Now back. back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Here's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. That one finds the zone, and that's strike two. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Not 
just misses the mark outside the zone. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. Inside just missed. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. That one laced to center and a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. And one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Still in total command on the mound with seven shutout innings. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. And we still have no score. Set for the last half of the seventh, and here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. The pitch. Right yeah. through there for a strike. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. On the inside corner for a strike. 0 no 2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. And a swing and a miss. One out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. Pitch yeah. is in there. That's strike one. Oh, one. Base is empty one away. Here the bottom of the seven. Edge of the zone for a strike. And the count is 0-2. Oh, he doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. To the right side. Into the outfield base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. One gone runner at first. Now it's Hunter Renfro. And that one is inside ball one. And the 1 0. Hard hit, could be extra bases. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Here comes the runner. Throw cut off, now to the plate. The tag, and he's in there. This confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Punched that one down the line for extra bases, and that was an excellent job going with the pitch on the outside. Got his bat on plane and just drove it. Michael Massey now at the plate. Oh, that one. one misses, and it's 1 0. Oh. Runner at second here, one gone. Go, 
at the belt and fires. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Man at second. And ball. misses inside. That's off the mark. Counts full three and two. Payoff pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Left hand batter waits. Good the plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. He's making things difficult for himself no right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground. But I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. The 1. 99 Ooh. pitches about to throw his 100th here Come in the seventh on. inning. This is where you really start looking for any signs of fatigue. Ball. Up and in. Now 1 and one 2. two Renfro on second. Massey over at first with one away. Just misses with that one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times, if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Isbell in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Boils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. Not one, even two. close there. Now one and two. No, Looked like it was a little bit up. Good location, good take. Sometimes you want the hitter to prove he can lay off that pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Got him looking. They limit the damage here. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Royals one and the Twins nothing. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Nick Anderson. These are the spots relievers really attention, make please. a name for themselves. Now, Late the and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Here's the center fielder, Byron Buxton. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. And a pitch. Slap the other way. Foul. Oh, 
That one to first, and it's just foul. That was close. Looking to get the tying run on base. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. Got him swinging. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Max Kepler. First pitch just misses. Trying to hold a one-run lead, and we're in the top of the eighth. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That's got a chance. Got it. Bangs against the wall, but holds on. Excellent play out there, and he does it in a huge spot. That wall, it can very easily jar the ball loose when you bang into it, so that could have been a really different outcome. And here comes Carlos Correa. One for three. First oh, offering, no. and it just misses. No. The shortstop takes a ball. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. That's to third. Over to first. Oh. And that is the third out of the inning. Twins are set down one, two, three. They still trail one nothing. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Brock Stewart. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Well, one run game, number 11, getting ready to hit. And the pitch. Lifted in the air, out to left. Walmer makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Back to the top of the lineup. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, MJ Melendez. Breaking ball inside. Yeah, that's ball one. Some movement in the Twins bullpen. Jay Jackson warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Base is empty one away. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. One down, base is empty. Good eye in that spot. And delivers outside. Just doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch.
Left hand hitter waits. Right through there. Got him. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Third time he struck no, out in this no, one, and definitely no, an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Win. In the box now, no balls and a strike. Just missed. One one. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. The pitch. That misses the zone, and it's two and two. Two outs. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. KC down in order, but they lead it one to nothing. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, James MacArthur. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Santana in the box now. Take strike one. Finish him. Pitch in the dirt, and that is ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Chop back up the middle. Off balance throw in time. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Fall off foul. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Finish That's one. a little bit low. No, Next pitch is outside. That's a really good take. One down, base is empty. Slow roller to third, and he grabs it. Foul. 2 2 on the way. Just off the outside part of the plate. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Swung on, belted. Back there. Off the batter's eye and gone. He'll take a jog around the bases. It's 1-1. One, one. Those are the at-bats that leave pitchers exhausted. He had to throw a lot of pitches and still gave up the long ball. That's a bad combo. job of anticipation there he knows he throws the sinker that one down in the zone you're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to well he won and now for the twins Ryan Jeffers 
Ball. That just misses. And that's ball one. one ball. No strike. One out, base is empty, and a run in here at the top of the ninth. Just off the inside edge. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. John Schreiber up and throwing. The wind of the pitch. And fouled off. The 2-1. Ball and three. another ball. Alex Kirilov waits on deck. Finish him. The line in the pitch. Out to short. Wit jumps, throws. Gets the catcher by a step. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Now it's the DH, Alex Kirilov. That's First pitch ball. doesn't find the zone. There's a strike. And foul ball. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Isbell makes the play. And that is that. Just one hit in the inning. But it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. All even now at 1 1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. We head to the bottom of the ninth. So up now for Kansas City, Salvador Perez. And the right hander back to work. That one misses. Ball one. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Griffin Jacks, the young right hander, up and throwing. The 1 0. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The 1 1. Late that time, and it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Now a pop-up on the infield. Jeffers under it. One up, one down. Now batter, the first baseman, Vinny. Vinny Pasquantino, the next to hit. That one is absolutely belted. That's going back. Back some more. Out of here. Ball game. That'll fire up the dugout. And the Royals walk it off. is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. At your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.